2016 is a leap year. As you know, every four years, there are 29 days in February. I taught my kids a rhyme to help them remember. 30 days has September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31, except February, which has 24 plus 4, till leap year gives it one day more. Let's learn six expressions related to leap year. English with Jennifer February gets an extra day when it's a leap year, so we end up with 366 days on the calendar. Do you know any idioms with the word extra? Here's one, go the extra mile. Do you know it? It means to do more than necessary. You do more than what's expected or what's required. Going the extra mile is about putting in additional effort, so it's a good thing. Employers value a worker who often goes the extra mile, and a kind friend will go the extra mile for you. Here's an example. Kyle is responsible and goes the extra mile on every project. It's no surprise that he got the promotion. Speaking of miles, we have a saying, give them an inch and they'll take a mile. This is not good. We say this when someone takes advantage of us and our generosity. Usually the person wants more freedom or more power. This could be a child who is testing his or her parents and demanding more privileges. Or it could be customers wanting more free services. Example. The bakery stopped giving away free cookie samples after a couple customers began to ask for samples of breads and cakes, too. You know what they say. Give them an inch and they'll take a mile. Here's another idiom with the word extra. An extra pair of hands. You can have, need, or offer an extra pair of hands. If you have an extra pair of hands, you have additional help from another person. For example, if you're moving to a new home, you take all the help that you can get because there are a lot of boxes and bags to carry. So it's wonderful to have an extra pair of hands. Example. Do you need an extra pair of hands with the move? I'm free this weekend if you want me to help out. Leap means to jump forward. Have you ever taken a leap of faith? If you take a leap of faith, you believe in something, although it's not easy, or maybe there's no real evidence to support your decision. For example, marrying someone is a leap of faith or it takes a leap of faith, meaning you believe in your heart it's the right thing to do. You just have to trust your decision is truly for the best. Example. Amanda took a leap of faith when she chose to move abroad for her job. Thankfully, it turned out to be a great decision. Here's another expression with the word leap, by leaps and bounds. If your language skills have improved by leaps and bounds, you've made great progress. Growing by leaps and bounds means growing a lot and quickly. Example, Tim's skills on the soccer field have improved by leaps and bounds thanks to his new coach. Finally, we have the saying, look before you leap. These are words of wisdom. 
This proverb means think before you act. We need to consider our decisions carefully and examine a situation before we take action or before we get involved. For example, intervening in a conflict or making a business investment. Example. I'm never investing in a company again without doing all the research. They say to look before you leap, and now I know what they mean. Let's review. First, we'll say the six expressions. Repeat after me. Go the extra mile. Give them an inch and they'll take a mile. An extra pair of hands. A leap of faith. By leaps and bounds. Look before you leap. Now recall the meanings. Which one refers to additional help from another person? An extra pair of hands. Which one means to do more than necessary and put in additional effort? Go the extra mile. Which is a proverb? and it means think before you act. Look before you leap. Which expression do we use to talk about great progress? A lot of progress made very quickly. By leaps and bounds. Which expression means believe in something although it's not easy to do. A leap of faith. To take a leap of faith. And this last one, give them an inch and they'll take a mile. Is it positive or negative in meaning? Negative, right? What do people want? They usually want more freedom or more power. So we say this when someone takes advantage of us and our generosity. Now let's practice. I'll pose questions for you to answer. But first, you have to help me complete the questions with the right words. One. Read the question to yourself, and then I'll help you complete it. Do you only do what's necessary, or are you willing to go the extra mile to show people you care? Two. Do you ever make rash decisions, later regretting that you acted too quickly? Perhaps you need to look before you leap in the future. Three. Have you ever taken a leap of faith and tried something new? not knowing if you'd like it or be any good at it? Four. How much discipline do children need? Is it true that if you give them an inch, they'll take a mile? Five.
When would it be good to have an extra pair of hands? Have you ever volunteered your help? Six. How do you think a language learner can make progress by leaps and bounds? How can you improve your English rapidly? That's all for now. Thanks for watching and happy studies. And happy leap year too!